What you're looking at is a hydroponic unit that I built back in uh, September, October, early October. Was October the 10th, 2009 is when I planted the seeds. And this is January the 1st, 2010. It's a different, different year. So you can see from October the 10th, October 10th, let's see, November, December, another nine or ten days, it would have been three months. And so let me let me walk you through a little bit here. What I what you're looking at right now, right in front of you, are tomato plants. Now if you go down here where you see the blooms, that is uh, squash. If I pan over a little bit, that's also squash there right in front of you where you see the blooms. They, they've been blooming like crazy. If I come up really close and take a look right there, that's an actual actual miniature squash right there. It's real small. But here's the thing about everything that I'm doing. Uh, the seeds that I use really require bumblebees or requires pollination from um, insects or the, whoever, whatever insects will pollinate. I know bumblebees will. Butterflies. So basically, when you, I showed you that squash, that, uh, that squash should not even really be there. I tried to hand pollinate a little bit. I don't know what success I had, but I used a type of fertilizer that causes uh, blooms. Well, let me tell you, that worked really well. As you can see, just loaded up with blooms. So I think it's the law of averages that uh, I'm able to even have a squash there. I have another one in the back there. Now look at that squash uh, plant in the back here. You may not believe that, but look at that gigantic leaf. It's much bigger than my hand. It's like two hands put together. It's gigantic. And uh, I guess only in a hydroponic system we can get a leaf that big. It's amazing. Now, right here, uh, you see going up the chain there, that's cucumbers. Unfortunately, I'm not having a whole lot of cucumbers. I got a couple baby ones there. And I just finished trimming some of this. I've had my problems with this whole thing. This is to be honest with you, it's been more like an experiment for me. If you come over here, on the end, those are all green pepper, green pepper plants there. I arranged them, I just put them right there in that area. And the, the plant that you see in the back there that's uh, kind of uh, red, green, uh, purple, that has nothing to do with the hydroponic unit. It's uh, up by the window there. So let's take a, an overview. See the lights on the top. Uh, I'm learning a lot from this. I know what to do now that should um, give me results. I'll buy the seeds that do not require uh, pollination. That will be a first step. And I used rocks right here, miniature small rocks to grow. And I used little cedar starters that you can buy. You can see right here, little seed starters. Put the seed in there, and then I put them in here inside the rocks. I uh, won't do it that way next time. I'll use a little seed starter, but I'll use maybe like a, some sort of sponge, something that's used for hydroponics. 
But uh, this got me started. And you can see the little cucumber. That's a little miniature cucumber. The best thing I can say about doing something like this, uh, you have to watch um, your water and the fertilizer. You have to buy the special um, fertilizer. And I'm using a dry fertilizer that I mixed in water. It's a lot cheaper and it seems to be pretty effective. But the best thing I can say to keep your pH level, um, your pH level is you need to test your water and keep the pH level to the specification for each plant. And I'm trying to get somewhere in between. And the best best advice that I can say is whenever you can use rainwater, um, that's the best thing you can do. They rather than use uh, water from the faucet. And you have to adjust the pH level and go through all that trouble. Rainwater is the best thing. And there you go. This is uh, January the 1st, 2010. And like I said, I planted October 10, 2009. It's when I planted what you see there. And uh, the best advice I can offer right now is uh, I needed to really kind of separate it, separate uh, what I'm planting. This is like seven feet long. You see I still have a lot of open spaces. That's because I don't have lights there. But uh, next time that I create the video, I should be able to have cucumbers or squash or tomatoes or something like that just coming off of there like crazy. And I'm testing all this indoors. And uh, one other thing is the fluorescent light bulbs. I don't have any high intensity light bulbs. It's like the type of little bulbs, they're long bulbs. I buy, uh, I can buy like at Home Depot or Lowe's. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. My next video will be uh, plants growing that I have, which will uh, share with you everything that I've learned, all the mistakes I made, and how I adjusted it. I think it's going to be uh, something really wonderful when I start pulling off cucumbers and squash and tomatoes like crazy. And there you go.